Hello and welcome back to On The Workbench. Today we've got a special treat here for you. We're going to be doing a store tour of one of the premier places to go looking at tools in the country. It's a one-of-a-kind showroom place in Springfield, Missouri. Yes, that's right. This is the Grizzly Big Box Mega Showroom Store for all of their big power tools and everything woodworking, metal fabrication, and the like. This is truly a one-of-a-kind destination store that is unlike anything else that you're going to see. Now, they've got another store up in, I believe, Washington State that is similar. I've not been there. This is from about 10 months ago, give or take. And so, yes, they have been open throughout the last year uh, for in-person visits. Um, and so if you're planning to get away this summer, this might be a place you want to get to. Uh, whether you're headed there or it's a stop along the way from wherever you live to wherever you're going, this is, think of any big box store, but with nothing but tools from wall to wall. It's really a paradise. You've got everything from drill bits to calipers to table saws, all sizes of band saws, milling machines. If you can think of it, it's there. They've, they're famous for their big mega catalog. They're probably one of the last big stores chain stores that I can think of that still puts out a paper catalog. They've got drill press tables. Now, a lot of this equipment, from what I can tell, and I think you can tell too if you look around, you'll recognize some of this looks very similar to other uh, imported tools that are sold at uh, Harbor Freight, but they've got quite a wide array of tools. Now, it's unclear to me how many of the tools sold by Grizzly are actually designed by Grizzly versus that are just outsourced outside manufacturing. So I don't think all these tools are completely unique to Grizzly, but they by far have the largest selection of these tools in the same place, under the same roof, and just a complete availability of tools at every price. Like there's large metal breaks there. We've got band saws, just all sorts of exotic tools that there's not a lot of stores around that deal with all these esoteric tools, regardless of anything else. So their trademark colors or their trade dress is this cream and white, or I'm sorry, cream and green color. But they've got a lot of other brands you might recognize, like here's some Freud, Diablo. Uh, there's also Milwaukee and DeWalt in the store. There's Woodpeckers. So there's all sorts of accessories. There's forest blades there at the high end, woodworking blades. That this is a store that really sells everything that you'd ever want if you're into woodworking or metal fabrication or fabrication in general. There's things like a little kid's pond, uh, some animals that hunters have caught, that there's just a amazing selection of what you can get there. Table saws. And look, there's even got a little tool chest underneath there. Grizzly bears hidden around, kind of their namesake, if you will. And so there's just so much to see here. You got table saws, and you can find table saws at every single price point. Table saws that are worth more than your car. Table saws that are worth less than a car. All the accessories, there's a $750 sliding accessory for a table saw. That any exotic type of table saw, they have it on display here. You want some exotic accessory that you want to look at and you want to see? Well, chances are they have it as well, too. So if you're on the fence about wanting to buy some exotic woodworking uh, equipment before you make the investment, you can go over there in store, take a look at it, uh, at least if they have it in stock. They don't sell everything here. There's also Saw Stop. So you get all your major brands all put together, you know, and all pieces that it's you're not going to find this at other stores. You're just going to see just a few of these items sitting out, and they're going to probably tell you special order only. Well, but if you're unsure and you don't want to commit to that special order, well, that's where Grizzly comes in. That Grizzly has a lot of this all under one roof. You could probably spend 45 minutes to an hour just walking around the store. Now, it's not hard to find your way around. The store shelves and fixtures don't go wall to ceiling. They don't treat it like an Ikea where it's a maze to walk through. But you want wood turning accessories, they've got them there too. You want jointers, how big of a jointer do you want? They've got jointers of all shapes and sizes and lengths and widths. How many cutter heads do you want? You want belt sanders? Do you want in-feed sanders? Like you've got there that, you know, those are perfect if you're doing an end grain cutting board because there sure is, uh, I sure hope you're not going to be putting that through a planer. 
Uh, we've got edge belt sanders here. And these tools here are at a wide variety of price points. You're just not gonna find this at a Lowe's or a Home Depot or any other store, a Rockler of the like, that this is just all of those put together into one. Now it's probably at least worth pointing out here as we're going around here in the footage that not every tool that's sold by Grizzly is what I would consider to be the highest quality tool. Whenever we get to their handheld 18 volt or 20 volt max lineup, that those tools are probably where I would go, eh, maybe that's worth a pass and that's where it's a little bit more in the Harbor Freight category. But here we got Milwaukee tools here. M12, M18, corded Sawzalls, and the like, but they cover such a wide variety that there's something for everyone here. And I think one of the hardest parts about going to a store like this is making sure that you leave with your wallet intact, because it's very easy for your wallet to get drained very quickly by something. But here we go, here's their so-called pro line of cordless tools. Uh, from playing with these and handling these, these seem like they're just kind of meh that the harbor freight line of bauer is probably a better bet for you than what these are i mean if you're in the platform that's great but in my opinion this is such an esoteric battery platform that it's hard for me to really get excited about it they've got a handful of tools i just don't see the support for this uh being much greater than what uh, where they're at now but as far as all the other tools that plug into the wall like you're gonna find it here and the accessories that go with them. And Grizzly's been around for quite a while. So that's one of the other things you've got to go with is that, you know, Grizzly is not a complete fly-by-night company. I know you may not have one of these in your backyard. This is not in my backyard. This was uh, a stopover on a trip. I uh, had it to a family wedding last year and I made it a point that I wanted to be able to stop and see the place and share it with you guys because this store is just really, really cool. So there you can see some wood turning displays. They occasionally do have some in-person demos and exhibits that you can see people do. And that's going to vary by the year uh, and the schedule of what they've got going on. So you got clamps and wood turning, all sorts of various clamps, a full line of Bessie clamps, wood turning tools, all sorts of gouges and exotic gouges. They've got other bits of exotic woods that you might want to use for wood turning, dust collectors, various stages of dust collectors with cyclones, filters. Here we go. We've got more clamps. You can't have too many clamps, right? And chances are, if you, there's some clamp situation you're not sure of, they probably have it. You know, one of the good comparisons I think of for the store is McMaster. A lot of me uh, mechanics will have that McMaster or the McMaster car book, and that has just a little bit of every bit of mechanical fastener that's virtually available. Well, this store kind of has the same thing when it comes to power tools or woodworking tools. So here we go. Here's some Porter cable tools. I know they've kind of slid down market a little bit, uh, but the routers, you can't beat a Porter cable router. That's kind of been the industry standard for years. There's that biscuit joiner up there. I've got one of those. That's a fantastic tool. And then they've got all the biscuits and the accessories that go with it. DeWalt's more your flavor. They've got several aisles full of DeWalt tools. You want Milwaukee? They've got Milwaukee as well, just an aisle away. So regardless of your price point or what systems that you're in, oh, here we go. We got shaper bits. You know, that's, you're not going to find a lot of stores with a lot of shaper bits in stock. You know, you could walk in, walk out with a handful of shaper bits that you need if you have a shaper. There's a little hands-on demo with their uh, cordless power tool line. I mean, like I said before, I think this is kind of just a meh sort of tool. Okay, there we go. We'll see if we can get this out. But I don't know. I, I wasn't impressed with it. Yeah, you can sink a screw. You can take a screw out. But I, I don't see any advantage of going through a mail order only version of this uh, sort of tool. I mean, it's cool, but I don't know. I... I would advise you, especially for warranty purposes, you want to find something that where you've got a store nearby. Because if you don't have a Grizzly nearby, which let's face it, most of us don't, your ability to be able to get a warranty service on that tool just isn't really going to be worthwhile in my opinion. So here we go, like I mentioned before, aisles of Milwaukee tools. 
Milwaukee Tools M18, Sawzall blades, every kind of Sawzall blade, M12, M18. There's back to that little fun koi fish pond in the middle of the store. Here we go, here's a fun one. There's the Prezi uh, beam cutter saw. So if you're cutting large timbers, they've got a tool for that. Now we've got some hammers, a whole selection of tools designed to move stuff out of the way. Great and fun. You want big hammers, you want little hammers, you want dead blow hammers. They've got a hammer for it here. Non-marring pry bars or pry tools here. In this case, probably something you might use for furniture making of fine or old antique furniture. Maybe not what you'd be using on a car. They don't really sell a lot of automotive tools just to get that out of the way. Obviously, a number of these tools do have some automotive crossover appeal that you could use. Um, obviously, you can use a drill, a Sawzall, and so forth when you're doing automotive repairs, impact drivers. But the bread and butter here, a lot of it is all woodworking and some metalworking uh, tools in stock. There's some pneumatic accessories here. Others just general shop accessories, casters, work tables, uh, pneumatic hose reels, compressors. Just a little bit of everything that you could ever want. Here we go, some cordless, or I'm sorry, some pneumatic nailers. More nailers, spray guns. You know, I, I know there's a big revolution of trying to get battery powered everywhere, but pneumatic nailers and pneumatic tools still deliver quite a good value for the dollar. And there's some tools that just can't be replaced with corded tools. I'm sorry, with cordless tools, like a die grinder. I mean, yeah, it kind of works. But what about the air hammer? There's not really a battery-powered alternative for that. And just for the cost and the weight, you know, you can't go wrong with a pneumatic impact driver. But now over here, we got some blast cabinets. We got these fun little conveyor belts. So if you're breaking down sheet goods, yeah, they got some great tools for that too. You know, you're not, again, this is the fun stuff that at least I think is fun because you don't see this in every single store that you go to. But then back over here, as I go around the corner here, this is their, uh, I believe this was their scratch and dent section, if you will, where they've got some one-offs or remaining deals that they've got. Uh, some of these might be displays or returns or something else that's not the full price. And so again, some other interesting tools here. So if you've got a truck and a trailer and you're able to show up in the door, you could possibly walk out with a pretty good deal if one of these tools happens to be available. I think most of these are probably in the first come first serve category, but it was interesting the day that I was there, there was probably about five or six guys that had trucks and trailers uh, with license plates from five or six different states that were several states away from Springfield, Missouri. And so clearly people are willing to make the trip in to come to the store, kind of like going to Ikea as a destination for families. Well, if you're into woodworking and other tools like this, this is kind of your destination. Now, Sad to say there's not an Ikea in town. I would love to drop off the rest of the family at the Ikea while I spent all afternoon at the store. But for the sake of my wallet, I'm probably glad that that didn't happen because I might have walked out of there with buying something that I really didn't need, but just because it looked really, really cool. And I think that's got to be one of my big warnings to you guys out there is just hold on to your wallet because some of the stuff is just really cool. It makes you feel like a five-year-old looking through that Sears catalog again of all the fun accessories that are out there and the fun tools that you might want to buy for your shop. So again, walking through the store here, going back by the pneumatic nailers. We've got a pretty good selection of different accessories. Uh, there's the Craig Foreman for the pocket hole jig, a whole display here of various Craig accessories. You know, Almost every single accessory that I'm aware of that Craig makes was in stock and available. So here we go around a little bit more. We've got some more deals here on the table. I think I showed you those before. Back to their wood turning section uh, where they got some vintage equipment and some demos. There's some really cool stories if you go on the Grizzly site about the formation of the company. I'd really encourage you to do that. I'll put a link down below. Uh, not a sponsored video, by the way, just to make sure we get that clear and out of the way. That this is just something that I thought was fun that I wanted to share with you guys. One of the tools I will say that I did not see here was a 
radial arm saw. Now, whenever I was a kid growing up, my father had one. That's kind of what I learned to cut my chops on for woodworking was a radial arm saw. And I thought maybe, maybe there'd be a radial arm saw or two in stock here. I think those have largely gone by the wayside completely. Like here's a little small bench top jointer. It looks a lot like the Delta model that's out there now. You got other books and templates, miter saws, tool storage as well. You got some other trailer accessories here. Chances are there's a good chance you might be coming to the store with a trailer and you might need to replace a winch or something to go with it. You know, I was rather surprised at just how many toolbox options they had. I wasn't expecting that, but there was definitely a variety of toolboxes at various price points here. I wouldn't say these are the highest quality toolboxes, but as you can see for the price tag, not bad. And I also have to give them some props that some of these toolboxes are a little creative, that this one I'm looking at here has a little pull-out uh, tool tote tray. Uh, some of the older Craftsman boxes from maybe 10, 15 years ago were very similar to that that got discontinued. And look at the deep drawer on this cabinet here. Very impressive in terms of when, how they're thinking about these. If you look at other tool storage solutions that might be in this price point, chances are they don't have some of the nifty little design features that they've got. See that little cabinet down at the bottom there? So there's just some unique, quirky uh, designs and options here that just may appeal to you if you're trying to find a unique need that you're trying to solve. And so there we go. We got some miter saw stands, tables, work support. We got some tool carts up here ahead. It's kind of funny. You got the expansion cabinet attached to the tool cart rather than on a tool box. Great little way that you could take a tool cart and expand it out into something more. I could see where this is really perfect. If you've got some machining equipment, other shop equipment, you need to move around and you need to move your drill bits or your other accessories around with it. That could be fantastic too. Uh, this is a shop that I believe they do some classes in and some other demos and custom work in. Uh, that was currently closed when I was there. And then over here coming up is the Festool section. Uh, cue the fancy music here. So yes, they even have Festool that, and there's, I believe there's some Merca sandpapers back there. We've got Torx keys, Allen keys, sandpaper, and everything that you need to be able to service your tools. A variety of the Festool products. A, there's the MFT table on the right. Dust collection, belt sanders. So you could pick up and feel all the various Festool tools to make a decision that is that what you want? You know, like the, for example, these Festool drills. I mean, I've seen them, but the chance to actually put my hands on one makes me go, Wow, it's really expensive, but it's kind of hard for me to justify. And I don't even think it feels that great. That, you know, 300 bucks or more, I think there's better bangs for the value than a Festool drill or an impact driver. I mean, there's not that many other tools in that Festool battery platform that I think you're better off going elsewhere for cordless tools. Now for Festool corded tools, I mean, some of their stuff is pretty unique and unbeatable. Yeah, especially when it comes to precision. So yeah, there's a little bit of open space here. I'm not sure how much of this was remodeling or them just shuffling around, but there are some air tool holders there. We've got some more uh, jigs there for cross cutting that you could put down to basically make your circular saw into a track saw, dust collection equipment, more clamps. Uh, I believe those were instrument holders. We've got turning tools. That whatever aspect of woodworking you're into, chances are there's a tool for it that's here. Uh, there we go. There's a downdraft dust collection table for sanding. Everyone loves sanding, but it's important to be able to control the dust when you're sanding. And I say love in a sarcastic manner. I don't think anyone's ever dreamt of spending a whole day sanding, but that's a great option for being able to help control and mitigate dust while you're sanding. I've seen a variety of homebrew solutions like that on lumber jocks over the years, um, but you could also just walk in, walk out, and have a commercial solution ready to go and hook it up to a dust collector and go. Now we're on to some more table saws. I think we saw that one earlier as I've walked around here and I've made probably a couple laps around the store. You know, I really am intrigued with that toolbox under the saw as an option and the saw blades. You know, the fact that they have 
uh, forest saw blades in stock. You know that they've got you know side by side with where you can get a Diablo or a Freud blade. That they're not just sticking to either the very top end of the price point or the very bottom end of the price point. They're really covering every place in between. And then down there on the bottom are some zero clearance inserts for various table saw models. Uh, here's some woodpecker accessories. Uh, love most of the woodpecker products. They make some fabulous tools. Some of them, to be fair, come with a fabulous price tag as well. And so there's lots of interesting options here. These are the blade holders or keepers or blade guards, if you will. I think we're going to cut this piece right here. Now, as we're moving again, we can see we've got a lot more little accessories in these various cabinets here. Sometimes they're just router bits, they're knives, they're sharpening oil, sharpening stones, because they have everything that you need. Here we go, a variety of mobile bases. Now, I've always been surprised at how often these mobile bases are not included with tools. Here we go, a bunch of specialty extension cords, 220 power adapters, to be able to convert various of the 220 plugs to make it work with your tools. You know, I could just keep walking around. There's always something new around every corner to be discovered or to seen that maybe you've seen it before in a catalog. Maybe you've seen it before looking at it online, but there's just something about being able to see it in person, touch it, feel it, stand at it. You know, is this tool at the right height for me? And I think that's one of the biggest uh, issues for some tools is that they're just the wrong size for certain people. Now here's their kind of value bin tool section here. Some decent deals here. You know, some clamps and some other basic tools. I wouldn't say there's anything fancy here to get that excited about, but some decent deals nonetheless. Uh, drawer slides, you know, that's where some projects can start going off the rails when it comes to prices for how expensive their drawer slides get. You know, it's great to see them, you know, having a few products here on the sale. And like I said before, you know, it's really easy to walk out of here, you know, a few dollars lighter in your wallet. Some nice little lamps there for a workbench that you're building. You know, those little finishing details that can go a long way towards taking a good project and making it into a great project. Anvils for metalworking, workbenches, work tables. But like I was starting to say before is that one of the things I really like about this store with some of these various tools is the ability to kind of get a feel for just how high is that tool and is that comfortable for you? Are you, especially if you're taller or you're shorter, or even if you're average height, that having a, the right tool at the right height can really go a long way for determining how comfortable it is for you. And that's the kind of thing you just don't get looking at the internet or looking at a catalog, that being in store, being able to put your hands on it, stand in front of it, you know, mimic, uh, material passes or moves, just how does it feel? Uh, how do your wrists feel? Those are those little details that are so invaluable that if you've got the opportunity to just, or you've got any doubts about anything, check it out. Right here, here's another fun tool here. You got some trees in your backyard. Go ahead and mill them up and turn them into lumber. Obviously you got to let them cure. There was a Craig track saw there. Some more interesting cabinets for tool storage here. Looks like stainless steel. I mean, to me, that cabinet there, it looks like something if you were doing a commercial kitchen would fit in just fine. More cabinets, little mini workbench, split top workbench there or clamping workbench there. It reminds me of a Black & Decker workmate. Just all sorts of tools. And so I hope you've enjoyed this look around the Grizzly store. I've enjoyed bringing this to you. It was a lot of fun to be there. If you're passing through Springfield, Missouri, I would highly encourage you to take a stop by the store walk around, spend a couple bucks, and it's worthwhile. Thanks for watching. If you got any other questions or comments, put it down below. I'd love to hear about it. If you have any products from Grizzly that you've ordered, that you've bought, or if you've been to the store, uh, please share it in the comments below with the community. We'd love to hear about it. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and have a great day. Bye.